I think society seems to put pressure on designers to make a statement when doing their own homes. Uh, I for one have managed to kind of steer clear away from that sort of pressure. I feel my home is a space that I want to enjoy. When I was looking for an apartment in Mumbai, I did know that I wanted to live in a low density building and the quality of light in this apartment, the fact that it had an auxiliary extra space just outside the living and dining, which must have been an old balcony that afforded us, you know, the extra things you want to do in your life. I mean, a bit of work or art or um, meeting people in a quiet space. So it did have that extra space other than the living and dining and bedrooms. In the entrance, there was a very old table that is all carved and fussy, not quite my style. But I thought that, you know, I, I will learn to live with it. And I made a red back painted glass top for it and put all my collection of red objects on it. It turns out to be actually quite a dramatic piece for the entrance. So we have a little corner there with two grey sofas, beautiful morning light. It's a nice place where I enjoy a cup of tea just before yoga in the morning. I mean, I do really value the things I buy or the things that have been given to me as gifts and art that I've collected over the years that has meaning for me, you know. So I think I like to surround myself with objects and art and furniture that I'm comfortable with. You know, I would say do not box up your apartments, especially those people who have the opportunity to have a new home or are renovating their homes or moving to a new apartment and young Indian people. I don't really think you need to declutter, but I think you can de-store. So things that are important to you should be around you and you can find joy in them, but you don't have to store them away in a cupboard and have a sense of security that they are still there 10 years from now. So that's the kind of storage I feel can be re-evaluated. You know.